Hi YouTube, Watchify here. I thought I'd upload a State of the Collection video since it'll give you a preview of upcoming videos. My plan is to do one video for each watch and then maybe even some comparison videos after that. So I'll start in order of when I obtained the watch and I'll try to be as brief as possible. I'll, I'll only cover you know, basic specs, uh, basic information. How did I obtain the watch? Why did I buy the particular watch? Have I made any changes or modifications to it? And would I consider selling the watch? So the first watch in my collection that I got is the Seiko SNXS 79K. It's a 37 millimeter automatic watch with an older Seiko 7S 26 movement. And uh, I bought it online, I bought it new. And in terms of why I bought it, I, I like the dial color. I like the look of the watch. It sort of fills that role as a dress watch. And I thought it'd be a good starter automatic watch for not too much money. Uh, the only change I made to the watch is I replaced the Seiko bracelet with a an aftermarket oyster style bracelet. And I don't have any plans on selling this watch. I think it has some sort of sentimental value to me and I'm gonna keep it in the collection. The next watch I got is the Casio model MDB106-1A. It's commonly referred to as the Duro. So it's a 200 meter quartz dive watch and it has a screw down crown. It came on a uh, rubber strap, but I lost it. So I just wear it on this NATO currently. And I got it as a uh, Christmas gift. So I had sort of asked for it. And so I did get it and haven't made any changes to it. Although I understand some people change out the crystal or bezel insert. And would I consider selling the watch? I would, but I don't think I would get much for it since they're so cheap to buy new. The next watch I got is the Seiko SRPB 87K1. It's a 100 meter, uh, it's a Seiko 5. Uh, sports model 100 meters water resistant it came with hard lex crystal I did mod that that was my first mod and I put a sapphire crystal in there it has a 4r35 movement that hacks and hand winds I bought it new online and I bought it because I like the silver dial I like the look of the watch and currently I'm wearing it on a metal mesh bracelet I don't have any plans on selling it Next, I picked up a Citizen. It's model BM733253P. It's course, the model name is Corso. It comes in a bunch of different colors, but I wanted it at least one gold colored watch. It has a champagne dial. It, it has an eco drive. And yeah, I just like the look of the watch. It was affordable at the time. I bought it new online and haven't made any changes to it. And I actually would consider selling this watch. I find that I wear this watch probably the least out of all my watches. Next I got the Citizen Nighthawk model BJ 7052E. It's a, another solar powered eco drive watch. Uh, really like the, the dial here and the internal bezel and it has a screw down crown, 200 meters water resistance. It comes on a really nice bracelet. It has solid end links and a milled clasp. So uh, I enjoy having this watch in the collection. I purchased it new online and haven't made any changes to it. And I don't have any plans on selling it. Next, I got an Orient Mako XL automatic watch. This is the version that has a fully loomed dial. I was looking for a, a diver with a white dial and came across this one and um, purchased it new online. I think this was my first Orient watch, if I'm not mistaken. It has an older movement that can't hack or hand wind and haven't made any changes to it. I actually did a video on this watch not too long ago. And, um, 
yeah, I would consider selling selling this watch. I have some other watches that are similar in style to this watch right now, but I do enjoy having it in the collection. Next, I got an Orient Bambino Gen 4. So obviously there's tons of videos on YouTube about the Orient Bambino models in general in terms of their value in automatic dress watches. So I like this particular one. It has the gray dial and rose gold markers in, in hands. I even like the leather strap that it comes on. I purchased it new online and uh, haven't made any changes to it and no plans on, on selling the watch. Next is another Citizen. This is the ProMaster Diver model BN015028E. It's a 200 meter ISO rated uh, solar eco drive diver. It has a screw down crown. I purchased it new online. I think at the time I was looking for an alternative to the SKX from Seiko and uh, picked this up. Haven't made any changes to it. Um, I actually would consider selling this watch. So of course I ended up eventually getting the Seiko SKX007. It's, it's a really iconic ISO rated dive watch and I purchased it new online. So at the time I wanted to mod the crystal and the bezel insert, but I hadn't done any mods yet myself. So I sent this watch to another YouTuber who um, installed the Blue AR Sapphire and the Loom ceramic bezel insert. Uh, later on, when I got good at just doing my own mods, I replaced the 7S26 movement with an NH36 movement. And then I also added a signed crown. And I wear this watch on a strap code oyster style bracelet. And uh, I have no plans on selling this watch. I think it's a permanent member of the collection just simply because it's so iconic and well known and I enjoy wearing it. So by this point, I, it's probably fair to say I've, I've been bitten by the Seiko bug. And so I got another Seiko. This time it's a dress style watch. It's the SARY055. It's a JDM model, white dial with blued hands, and kanji day wheel, which I thought was really cool. And it has a signed crown. It runs, in terms of dress watches, it's, it's a little large, but I was okay with that. It comes on a metal bracelet, but I wear it on this gray leather suede strap and uh, I purchased it new online and haven't made any other changes to the watch and not considering selling it. I, I really like this this watch and I wear this watch regularly. Next I have the Seiko 5 model SRPE 55K1 commonly known as the Dress KX. I got this one with the black dial and the metal bracelet I purchased it new online. I got it because, yeah, I like the smaller size, 40 millimeter size. I like the versatility of the watch. And I did a, a recent video on this watch, a review video. I haven't made any changes to the watch, but I was considering one day swapping out the Hardlex crystal for a sapphire, a flat sapphire crystal. And I have no plans on selling this watch. Next is the first Seiko Samurai I've, I purchased. It's model SRPD23. This is the Save the Ocean model with the, I guess the great white um, shark fin in the lower left corner of the dial. And this, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and throw up on the screen what this watch looks like originally. But I think after I bought it, I was kind of wanting a different look for it. I did like the dial and hands and everything, but um, thought it would look better with a darker uh, bezel insert. So I modded that and replaced it with a ceramic bezel insert and double dome sapphire crystal. And currently it's, I wear it on the, the Seiko bracelet that it came with. I purchased this watch new and I don't have any plans on selling it. Next, I have another Seiko 5. This is the model 
SRPD 79K1. This is the blacked out version. I did a video on this watch recently. I purchased it new online. I, I like the all black stealth look, although you pay the price in terms of the loom brightness on this watch. I replaced the hard lex with a sapphire crystal and the ceramic, uh, actually I replaced a bezel insert with a ceramic one. I wear the watch on a strap code metal bracelet and I enjoy having it in the collection, no plans on selling it. Next is the Seiko Mini Turtle model SRPC37J1. I think this is the first watch I purchased pre-owned. I got it online from a seller on eBay. And I was looking for, you know, I had seen some videos on this, this watch and I really liked it. So when I saw it for sale, I, I picked it up. I haven't made any changes to it at all. I don't have any plans on modifying it since I, I think it looks good the way it is now. It came with a strap code bracelet, metal bracelet, but I wear it most of the time on just a, a NATO strap like this one. I really like the watch and don't have any plans on selling it. Next up is a Seiko Presage from the Cocktail Time series, model SRPB43. What drew me to this watch is the, the dial, basically the faceted dial, the blue second hands. The dial actually looks silver in some light and light blue in, in other lighting situations. I like the crown. I actually don't have a problem with the strap either. And it was the first watch that I bought that had that type of um, deployant buckle as well. I like the domed hard lex crystal. So yeah, I, I saw this and thought, you know, hey, it's, this is a good looking Seiko dress watch. I purchased it new online and don't have any plans on selling it. I enjoy wearing it. Next up is the iconic Seiko Flightmaster model SNA411. This is a just a regular quartz movement. I purchased it new online. Uh, this watch does have a screw down crown and I believe 200 meters of water resistance. I like the complications on the dial. I like the look of the watch. It comes with a metal bracelet, but I like to wear it on a NATO strap like this one. In terms of whether I would sell this watch, I, I think I would consider selling this watch simply because there's a little bit of overlap between this one and the Citizen Nighthawk I mentioned earlier. And of the two, I, I think I prefer the Nighthawk better. Next is another Samurai. This is a King Samurai in its model SRPE37K1. I had heard that they were coming out with this watch and when I saw it, I, I saw the, the white dial diver I was looking for. I like the grid pattern on the dial as well. I like the specs of the watch, how it already comes with a sapphire crystal. It already comes with a ceramic bezel insert. So no need for me to, to mod this watch at all. It came with a, a black rubber strap, but that strap was too long for my wrist, so I changed it out to a strap code hexad metal bracelet. I think it complements the watch really well. And I purchased this watch new online. I don't have any plans on selling it. I really enjoy having it in the collection. Here's another Seiko 5. This is model SRPD65K1. I purchased this watch new online. I got it because I, I think I wanted another modding project to do. I wanted to see what this watch would look like on a Yachtmaster style ceramic uh, bezel insert. So I made that modification and also changed out the hard legs for Sapphire Crystal. I do enjoy owning the watch and I do wear the watch, but it is very similar to the blacked out Seiko 5 that I showed you earlier. So for that reason, I probably would consider selling this watch one day. Next is the King Turtle model SRPE39. I purchased this watch new online. I was drawn to it uh, simply because of the dial. I like that, that texture there, I like those mana rays. I like that the watch has already come with a sapphire crystal and a ceramic bezel insert. I had the mini turtle, but I didn't have the regular turtle watch 
yet so decided to pick this one up I did change out the Seiko bracelet for a strap code Jubilee style metal bracelet and I don't have any plans on on selling this watch I really enjoy having it and enjoy wearing it as I was filming this video I realized that if I included every watch I own in a single video this is going to be a really long video so I decided to break it up into two parts I'm more than halfway through the collection and for the final watch in part one this is the Seiko SBDC 051 it's a 200 meter prospect diver uh, it's described as a reinterpretation of the classic Seiko 62 Moss but with only with more modern specs and dimensions. I purchased it pre-owned from a seller on eBay and I love everything about this watch. It comes with a sapphire crystal that has blue AR undercoating. It has a milled bracelet with solid end links, a lacquer coated bezel insert and it has the smoothest uh, bezel action of all my watches. The dial has a really clean and simple look and the loom on this watch is amazing. Uh, it's definitely going to be a permanent member of my collection. Uh, that's it for part one. At the end of part two, I'll share my opinion on whether owning this amount of watches makes sense. I currently have 37 watches in my collection, most of which could be described as affordable watches. All told, I could have bought one or two higher end luxury brand watches, so I'll comment on that in part two also. So that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching and feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it or found it interesting. Thanks.